Alright guys, here you go. Um, today I have a video here and this is going to be on my Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. And today what we're going to do is basically show you how to get custom recovery working on this device along with uh, what they call second boot. Um, so what that basically is, it's kind of like an unlocked bootloader plus custom recovery is basically what we're going to be working on today. I'm not going to really go through ROM installs. But I'm going to try to get this up to speed for you guys and make this as simple as pro uh, process as possible. So first, just to make sure everybody's on the same page with me, we're going to just go into here and go to devices. And there's a really important thing right there. Battery is at 100%. Uh, I, I would say 90 or above. Very important in case something goes wrong, you need to have plenty of battery life to fix it. So that's really important right there. Next thing is, is just to show you what system version I'm on. Like I said, Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Current version is 7.4.6. So you should be running that version if you're going to follow this process. Um, process won't vary very much depending on if there's any updates. It should be pretty much the same. Maybe just a couple different files you'll be using. So there you go. That's what we're going to be needing. Um, also some prerequisites are you're going to have to have root access already right there with a super user. So my last video shows you guys how to get that access. After that, go to the App Store on your Kindle, download this, it's called ES File Explorer. And we're going to be using this application and give it root access. And we'll be doing some uh, stuff in here as well. So, I'm going to back out of this. And what we're going to do now is just go ahead and plug this into your computer which you should already have all the drivers and everything set up if you got root access already so this shouldn't be uh, too big a deal here so just go ahead and plug it in and then we're gonna go ahead and head over to my computer and show you some files you guys are needed gonna need to transfer over to this device okay guys so here we are we are over here at my computer and these are your files you're gonna need you're gonna need all these files I will give you links to all of them in the video description so make sure you get them all. What I've done is I just took them all and I put them in this file called recovery. And that's where they're all going to be. So basically what you have here is an application you're going to use to flash everything, which is right there. Then you have, you have to change the bootloader. And this is very important that you make sure it is a correct download. Because if you flash a bootloader that's bad, it will brick your device permanently and you'll be out a Kindle Fire. Uh, HD so that's not a good thing um, then you got your new bootloader not bootloader I'm sorry your new boot image you got a recovery image which is uh, twerp recovery which is my preferred recovery image and then you have another part of the hack that allows you to um, use the second uh, bootloader right there so these are the files you're gonna need um, really quick I'm gonna show you guys how to check the um, this right here this is a boot uh, boot image, which are not boot image, just uh, bootloader right here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to where it's downloaded from, which is this right here. And let's see where it's at. Okay, so this is XDA. I will give you a link to this site. So, what you're going to do is find that boot image. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Here's the boot image and it has an MD5 so you're going to copy the MD5 copy then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this little program it's called MD5 EXE and I will give you links to it see right here then you're going it automatically you paste that MD5 into it right here if it doesn't click paste then you go to browse and you find that bootloader and then you hit open and it goes across and it says the codes match that means you have a good download so I'll give you a link to this program it's very simply just download to your computer hit kick run it should look exactly like that when you download it and it'll come up with the screen I use this all the time it's very important to check MD5s especially when you're doing things like bootloaders on your device so that being said um, this is all the files we're just gonna go right here to recovery and copy it and then we're going to go find our Kindle Fire. And mine is right here. Here's your memory. And then I'm just going to paste uh, recovery in here. Uh, where are we going to go? Paste. There we go. All right. So
So right there is our file. Now I'm just going to show you this. You can see I have a stock boot image, a stock recovery image, a stock system image, and a boot zero block image right here. Um, so let me just explain something to you. So we're going to go over back over here. That are those are the files you're going to do when you follow these commands if you do that beforehand it's just a safety measure to make sure that if you mess anything up this is like recovery because it'll create those files on your device so it is important to have those and then pull them actually to your computer so that they're on there in case of emergency now before you guys do any any of this process this is all setup stuff there's three things I want you to read I want you to read through this form right here just to get a good over understanding of it and I'll give you links to it like I said I would have you read through this. This talks about how to use um, how to use the application, the uh, Fire Flash application, which we're going to use. And then I would highly recommend this if you're going to do any hacking on your device. This is like the most in-depth information you can get that I've seen online for the Kindle Fire HD 7-inch. Absolutely love it. Great, great tutorial. Read through this. It'll give you guys a great understanding of how this all functions and it'll go through it all so before you get just jumping into this please please read these three XDA posts I will link them they're very very good and will help you from bricking your device and having all kinds of trouble with it and just 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 uh, stop that stuff right at the beginning so you've got these three things last thing I'm going to show you really quick is in here I'm going to use an app to do this but you can also do this with a, a fast boot cable or factory cable is what they're called and you can do that with some commands here instead of using the application but we're going to use the application just because it's easier um, but if you're going to really do any major hacking I would highly recommend getting the fast boot cable or factory cable is what they call it um, it's not the cable that comes with your, your Kindle it's another one it puts it in fast boot mode anytime you plug it in it's a very good cable to have or you can even buy an adapter that will do the same thing with any cable which is pretty nice so there you go, that's everything we need to go. Let's go back to the uh, tablet and uh, let's go ahead and run this through. Okay, our files are transferred. We can go ahead and unplug our Kindle. Now this is what I wanted to show you. This is that factory cable adapter. So this is a standard cable and by plugging this one into it and plugging it into the vise, it turns it into a factory cable. This is really nice. This comes from like Team Black Hat. Um, they have a website you can buy them from awesome takes any normal USB cable and turns it into a factory cable or you can buy just a factory cable either way um, I like this little adapter it works very very well so what we're gonna do here is go ahead and go into ES file explorer and we're going to refresh this page I think there we go and there you can see that recovery folder and you can see fire flash so we're gonna click on it and then we're gonna go to settings and right here it says allow installation of applications hit OK go back hit it again and go ahead and install this application there you go and you can go ahead and hit open and definitely uh, allow and here we go this is gonna be our settings here so this is really important we go through this really carefully let me change my camera angle so you guys can see this better okay so we can go through this thing one one thing at a time here so first thing is it goes ahead and tells you a little warning right here saying that you're not on this older bootloader that you need to be on to do this so it says to flash the bootloader so you're gonna click on it um, flash that boot that bootloader so that's important you want to make sure it does that then you can come down here to uh, boot partition and which is your boot image so we're going to go ahead and click on that and then we're going to go and scroll to recoveries and your boot image is this one so we've selected it then we're going to go down to it says apply stack override use hash codes older bootloader go ahead and do that we're going to apply that stack override then we're going to go right here to recovery and we want to pick our recovery image which is right there it's already listed we were in that folder already and that is done now we're going to disable recovery auto update so we're going to click on that one and that should be everything there 
da 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 okay so from here guys all we're gonna do is go ahead and do the flash <coughs> flash slash install script so we're gonna click on it and boot image recovery image you can see it's flashing recovery auto disabled stack override applied X bootloader partition flash bootloader partition flashed boot partition flash recover partition flash old recovery script erased hit OK and technically we should be done so from here um, you should be able to boot into recovery so reboot in, in recovery so let's go ahead and try that and the device is rebooting so there you go there's Kindle Fire um, next we should see there you go the blue Kindle Fire and then from here if the script works correctly it should just go ahead and boot us right into recovery and there it is so we are in recovery that is uh, very very wicked cool so from here you can go ahead and flash your grounds do all that kind of stuff but first first things first always go ahead and make a backup so we're gonna select everything there you go and backup name auto generated I'm gonna actually change this oh it actually says well, that's not bad we're just gonna we're just gonna add stock to it and then I'm gonna add the, the build is or the version there we go and then you can hit enter and there it is and then go ahead and swipe across and make your first Android backup super duper important to do that so when this is done I'll just wrap this up show you a couple more things and we'll be running alright guys so our first Android backup is complete which was very awesome we have a backup of our system we can always restore to this and we'll be back and running which is super duper sweet so you can actually hit reboot right here I'm just gonna go back and just just go through you know this is your stuff you can see you have a restore point right here now because you just created that Android backup and you can go through all your normal your normal goodies here so I'm gonna really quick just reboot system and um, we should boot up normal here here's your your Kindle fire you're always now gonna have that Kindle in blue and then you should boot up after this now we're just gonna give it some time here and let it boot up once it boots up I'm just gonna show you the last thing is how to get into recovery from a powered off state or technically from a boot loop or slightly brick or whatever you want to call it you have a bad flash of a ROM or whatever we're gonna show you how to do that and then we'll go from there okay just to show you here you go we went ahead and booted up everything is fine um, and we're looking pretty much exactly how we looked before I see there's some different things down here that was different for me I, I don't know why that's in there anymore but you know whatever it's cool with me um, these little things down at the bottom there so anyway we're done here let's go ahead and just power this thing off really quick so I'm going to turn it around here. My power button is hard to see on this thing. We're going to power it off, shut down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to get into recovery. So to get into recovery, it's pretty simple. You have your volume button on the side over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to power it on. As soon as you see that, go ahead and hold the volume up. Just keep holding it. Keep holding it. And it should boot into team win recovery project here by just holding this volume up button so let's see what we get there we go we're in recovery so if you have a bad flash or anything like that you're stuck in a boot loop something won't function you need to get back into recovery from quasi bricked state um, that's how you do it now that you have team win recovery installed there you go guys that is going to wrap it up for me that is my video on how to install custom recovery on this Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope it was informative for you. Like I said, please, please, please read those posts uh, on XDA. They are awesome. Great, great information on this device. If you're going to start hacking this, putting in custom ROM, side gem mod, all that kind of stuff, stay tuned. I will have videos on that and we'll be adding to this thing constantly with different videos, ROMs, and mods on the Kindle Fire HD. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.